Okay, we're at Koiki Alto and we're going to do some plots here in the Chilean dry zone. We're near the border, looking toward the border of uh, Chile and Argentina. So almost directly east. Panning around, give you a sense of the plain. We're part way out a transect. Now you're looking back at the at the uh, source population of uh, Pinus contorta and back up the transect that started at the edge and is moving out. We're moving almost directly east and now panning around to where you can see the road and the hills in the distance. This plain has been invaded out some distance You'll see trees, Pinus contorta trees along the road. They seem to be either protected from uh, herbivory by sheep that would be in these paddocks, or and or they're also being moved along there for some along the road for some distance, actually going out several kilometers. And um, so it looks like there could be um, additional movement being coming from cars. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the, uh, the method that Kim Taylor is using. And uh, it starts with laying out a transect at a specific distance. We selected random distances along the transect, along a uh, one kilometer long transect. We do these 10 meter long segments on the transect. And what we're looking for are Pinus contorta seedlings, or browsed off Pinus contorta um, in this case. Uh, there's one right there that's probably been browsed off. Okay, the first, one of the first things we do is, is set up the plot, string the tape, but also in, accompanying the looking for uh, Pinus contorta seedlings is also uh, testing predation of seeds. So seeds have been glued on the popsicle stick here at the beginning of the transect, previously glued. And uh, you can see they're, they're put in with a staple. And the seed is uh, kind of on top of the glue there, is made available. And we'll pick these sticks up after our week the end of our week stay here in Chile. Okay, so the methodology at this point, Kim, can you say what you record? Well, we make this a 10 by 10 plot and then record the basal diameter um, of each Pinus contorta seedling and whether or not it has our Okay, and what does the basal diameter oh, relate to? The diameter to? around the seedlings right at the ground level. Okay, and what does that relate to? <laughs> and that, uh, we found, has a relationship with height, uh, with age, so then we'll be able to get the age of all these seedlings um, and kind of reconstruct the invasion. Okay, and why not measure height? So we tested it. begin.